Today we're going to review part number K2R712S. This is the Kodiak disc brake kit, the 13 inch rotor with the 8 on 6.5 inch bolt pattern. And this is the stainless steel finish and fits the 7,000 pound axles. Now these brake assemblies will make it easy to change from an idler axle to a disc brake axle. The disc brakes will deliver better performance than your drum brakes, gives you more consistent stopping even at highway speeds, and it'll also give you dramatically shorter stopping distances. Also, the maintenance costs are lower than for drum brakes because you'll have fewer moving parts to maintain, repair, and replace. Now, these parts are all stainless steel construction, which is durable and rust-proof. It's ideal for extended marine use. All these parts have a 1,000-hour salt spray rating. Start with the rotors. These are a slip-on, over-the-hub style rotor. These will fit over your standard idler hub, and the, the studs would come through here, and these are held in place by the wheel and the wheel lugs. These do remove easily for maintenance, so there's no need to replace your entire hub and rotor assembly if only the hub or this rotor becomes damaged. If you'll notice on these rotors, they do have the vented design. This will dissipate the heat, and this will prevent any heat-related damage to the rotors. I just want to show you the back of this also. It's all stainless steel. Now the calipers, those are a stainless steel calipers that are self-adjusting for smooth equal braking. The stainless steel construction does not flex like aluminum. Gives you excellent corrosion protection. It's ideal for extended marine use. <clears throat> now basically, I'm just popping the pad out there and you'll see the stainless steel piston right in here. It's a low drag design, which means this piston will retract farther than other calipers. Keeps the brakes off the rotor and gives you a cooler running brake. Now the stainless steel piston is two and a half inches in diameter, so it's about 30% larger than other brands. So that'll give you more braking torque than the competition. And then it comes also with these high performance ceramic brake pads. Now over here, these are the stainless steel mounting brackets, which will provide strength and durability. If you notice it has the nice side support design. So this will ensure that the load is placed on the whole bracket, not just on the bolts has some extra embossing right up here for additional thread contact to ensure tight, secure mounting when you use your caliper guide bolts to attach the caliper to these brackets. If you also notice, this is a five bolt brake flange mounting configuration. So when you install this, your axle will need to have a five bolt brake flange on it. If it doesn't, we do sell the weld on flange separately on our website. Now this kit does include two full brake assemblies two stainless steel rotors, two stainless steel calipers, two stainless steel caliper mounting brackets, and the four stainless steel caliper mounting bolts to attach the calipers to the brackets. Now one note I do want to mention that when you do uh, switch to disc brakes, disc brakes do require a higher line pressure, usually about 1500 PSI, compared to the standard drum brakes, which are usually around 1000. So to achieve this pressure, you will need on your trailer a brake actuator that will have at least a 1500 PSI rating. Again, this will fit axles of 7,000 pound weight capacity with the number 42 spindle. Uses a wheel size of 16 inches and larger. Bolt pattern is an eight on six and a half inch bolt pattern. And when this slides over your idler hub, the wheel studs that come through, this will fit off the half inch diameter studs. The diameter of the rotor itself is 13 inches. And again, just to mention, like we did earlier, this uses this mounts to a brake flange configuration of the five bolts. But that should do it for the review on part number K2R712S, the Kodiak disc brake kit, the 13 inch rotor, and the eight on eight six and a half inch bolt pattern, and everything in stainless steel finish.